welcome to the December 4th, 2019 meeting of the Community Preservation Committee. As always, we begin with general public comment, of which there is none, because there's no general public. Uh, <laughs> approval of minutes, of which there is none, because there are no minutes. Uh, chair's report. Really, the only thing is that uh, David Whitehill is not able to be here this evening, and this was his last meeting. Uh, so Sarah and I drummed up a couple of certificates to give him one from the mayor, one from us, and then Sarah's going to give him that 350th medallion. The um, what, what is it, Sarah? It's a, you, you didn't bring it, did you? I did. It's like a it's like bling, you know. You can, Wear it around your neck, I suggest. I mean, it's pretty big, right? <laughs> I'm going to cause that problem. That's right. Like at a parade. Oh yeah. Yes. Like a parade more camping. It's, it's like what, March. The, what the cowardly lion got. Yes. The cowardly yeah. lion got from the Wizard of Oz. Right. Except right. this is not that. That put it on his cousin. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so we are, we will have a new member joining us in, whenever we meet again, February, is it? Uh, something like that. Uh, and we'll say goodbye to David when we see him now. So he has served us well four years. I think it is. So he did a wonderful job. It's too bad we cannot honor him. But David, if you ever watch the show, thank you for your, for your work. The main thing we have to do tonight is to approve what Sarah just gave us, which is the five, is it, I believe? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, right? City Council orders from our good work of two weeks ago. Uh, so uh, remember, we're looking specifically at the language and any typos at conditions. Do we need a minute to read through these? Would that be helpful? Okay, let's let's do that. We can read through them all and go through them one by one.
How are we doing? No, more time? Chris? Good. I'm good. Uh, I can't remember. How, how do we do this? We go one by one, make a motion? Is that what we do? Okay. Uh, so someone make a motion on the Housing Authority for the playground project? Just for each one to say, let's move to approve. Yeah. Move to approve. Second. Oh, in favor? Oh, actually, discussion real quick. The, the last, the two, two of the whereases are not whereases. They're missing an E. Oh, whereas. And I think the word the goes before positive health status. We contribute to the positive health status. That's the third whereas. Yeah, whereas. Get that, Sarah. Yes. Okay. Uh, any other discussion on this? All in favor? All right. Uh, what is it? A motion to approve? Is that what we're asking for? Motion to approve. For the uh, for the North Commons project, is there a second? Second. Uh, discussion. I I uh, had a memory of so much acreage being put aside as open space was that a suggestion or was that an actual did we decide on writing that into the description do you know sarah if they have committed to so much acreage as open space and uh they mentioned it in their application did you i think the third whereas says open spaces are part of the project are you suggesting jack that that be well, if that was a specific acreage that they are comfortable with. This is the one where the, there were a couple of different numbers floating around. 29 acres was one, and there was 35 other. Yes. Um, it had some variability. Yeah. And in the previous iteration, it had very different number as well when we saw it. What was it a year ago? Right. How do we want to leave this, Jack? Do you have a suggestion? I don't know. I don't. I don't want to pin them down if they're, you know, they were making an approximation. Uh, I don't know how to proceed. They said approximately thirty-five. In this last. Yeah, and then in the same application, they said approximately twenty. I think uh, thirty-five might have been the two projects in conjunction, so we could say approximately thirty. How about that? So that would be the third whereas. How would, how would you word that, sir? Uh, so I let's see. So playgrounds are part of the project and will be open and available for use by the public. And approximately 30 acres of open space will be permanently protected. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you, Jack. Uh, the motion is to approve. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Okay. Number three is the Pennell Roadhouse. Motion to approve. Motion. Second. Discussion. Good to go. All those in favor? All right. Uh, number four, Historic Northampton. Approve. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? All right. Goodness, we're on fire. <laughs> Last one is the uh, National Honor Book. Motion to approve. So moved. Second. Second. Uh, any discussion? A couple little diddlies. Um, I just noticed on the first whereas clause, the language in all the <coughs> others is an application for Community Preservation Act funding, and this one, for some reason, it's different. I don't really care, but I don't know if that's funny. Different templates, and we'll make more of Okay. Um, and then at, at the very, very end, the last sentence, um, you can do 
close the bracket on the account number and put a full stop. Mm, good eyes. Thank you for those. So are you good with that? Any other, what do you call it, did, diddly squat? Did you say? Did, no, I didn't say that. I swear I said something more, more elegant. <laughs> it was not all that elegant. <laughs> elegant. We'll have to watch the replay. Yes, exactly. <laughs> diddly doodle or something. Diddly doodles, yeah. There was something like that, wasn't it? Diddly was in. Anyway, uh, so good to go. All those in favor? Right. That was excellent. So all five, we did not fund two, we fully funded four and partially funded one. That leaves us with somewhere around thirty-five thousand dollars for the next round. And whatever and large guess we might receive from the state. Yes. Which or not. Or not. Who knows? Yeah. At this point. So Sarah feels that time is not on our side. I don't think, the longer it takes, I think the less likely it is that there will be any significant contribution. Sarah, what is the um, process of the holdup, or is it? If there's some issue with the state budget that oh. um, that goes beyond CPA that they're waiting for federal funds or something. I'm not quite sure. Could be, the federal government doesn't have a budget yet. So, at this point, we know we have $35,000. we are hoping for a little more, but we don't know what that is going to be. But let's put that off until the um, until we talk about the 2020 schedule mm -hmm. and move on to funding round debriefing. Any suggestions, comments, constructive ways we could do things better? I think we've got it pretty much nailed. Other comments? We weren't goaded into anything. I'm sorry? We weren't goaded into anything. That's right. <laughs> I was about to say we need more jokes, but uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Right. Sorry. The, you know, when we had the um, presentations from the grantees, uh, we did seven in one evening, you remember? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And we gave them 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Was that rushed? Should we have uh, gone longer? And if we had done 20 minutes, that would have been, what, two hours and 20 minutes, which would have been a lot. Yeah. So I watched them on the video. I, I had that, you know, because I wasn't the meeting, I had to watch you, them on the video. You were one of two people that watched them. Right? Yeah. No, she, <laughs> watched it twi she watched it twice. She watched it twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So um, two or two people. And, and, and I, you know, I can imagine sitting in the room, at least in the room, it's, it's actually a little more captivating. And as I had said, on the video, you've seen back of heads. but. It, it felt like it brought alive what was, I had the written document in front of me, it brought alive what was in the written document, it gave the needed time for questions, and more wouldn't have necessarily made it more alive. You, you know, there's the site visit, and then there's the presentation, and we've got this document that's been submitted, and um, it, it doesn't, you know, 20 minutes, I'm not sure, adds enough to really make to, to really make it like let's let's drag it to that point. If we didn't have the document, then everybody should have 30 minutes. Yeah. But we have the document. So. so I I would I would just say that um, it's only inadequate if there is anybody who came here with the intention to speak who didn't get the chance. And um, because I think we should provide that opportunity to whoever wants it. Um, I don't think we suffered from that this time, but I didn't, uh, having a sort of hard cap of 15 minutes on each presentation, um, if, if they don't come in organized uh, in advance with that in mind and they bring 20 speakers, um, that's, not, that's not gonna work. And I, I would feel badly if somebody who had made the time in their schedule to come in and, and, and share their views on it didn't get the opportunity to do so because of our, our timeline. So, so yeah, you know, but there's two things. Yeah. There, there's the 
there's the yeah, presentations, presentations and then there's the, the community public. night, the public night. Right. Everybody, right. I'm I'm confusing the two. My bad. Sorry. Everybody oh, okay. got to speak. Yeah. Yeah. Wanted to speak. No. I think that was yeah. very compelling too because yeah. there were a, a lot of sincere yeah. uh, speeches made at the community yeah. night. Totally my bad. Yeah, I mean, I, I for the community, I think. Yeah. Everyone should have the floor for us. You know, right. here you go, come yeah. and speak. And if, I, I mean, the only exception of that, I think, was the community gardens because they just didn't kind of act together, and it was really kind of. I mean, I wasn't here for the whole thing, but um, what I was here for was it felt like it just went on too long, and they needed to organize themselves and forget what they were doing before they came in. And well, that that was sort of a unique case because they yeah. came in here not really prepared for the fact that they were going to have to address an internal conflict that hadn't been resolved before they got here. Right, exactly. Um, in the normal world, I don't think we have to, but I should just show yeah, up. And that's the I'm only totally time. off base on the other no, thing. That's so. a good point, yeah. right? So it, it, maybe that's where the 15 minutes can be really helpful, because if there's an internal conflict going on and yeah. you have 15 minutes, you say, you know what, there's something else going on that needs yes. to get resolved. Thank you for the presentation. Because yeah. that was really tricky. It was bad. Yeah. And, you know, so yeah, and I thought you handled it really well, Brian, for the part over and over again. So, so the fifteen minutes was okay. Yes, yeah, my bad. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, Chris, when I when I was hearing, I I, I was thinking we're still talking about the presentations, but presenters often bring three or four people. Yeah, but if they know in advance that it's going to be fifteen minutes, and they they they're working for a prepared script, I don't. I, that, that I think that's reasonable. I'm, I was off base, so just mm. never mind. And we'll see if we have more than seven or eight or nine. We'll just have to break it into, mm -hmm. into two things to decide that. I think the one thing that we did do, um, either by default or intentionally, uh, which I, I, I really think works for me, is to do all the money decisions in a single night. I agree. Yes, I agree. Too. Um, Any other discussion on what we can do differently? Well, I just kind of just kind of echo Chris that I think we got it down. I was I was amazed when I first looked at this. It's like it's not that many, but it's <clears throat> there's some hard decisions here. <clears throat> I thought we just rolled right through, and I was surprised. So. And they were all compelling projects. Yes, I mean all seven. Really, really great projects. I will look forward to a year and a half from now when the bonding starts to go down. And we're really beginning okay. to free up. I mean, two hundred fifty thousand more dollars a year can be used to. Anything else on funding round? <coughs> if folks think of stuff getting this back to Sarah or me, it'd be wonderful. Uh, so moving on to the 2020 schedule, um, Sarah, you had some comments that uh, about the whole process. I wasn't sure if the committee might want to talk about maybe doing things differently this round, given the limited amount of funding. Um, and so anything's up for grabs, just because there's always been two rounds and they've always been conducted the same way doesn't mean they need to continue to be that way. So maybe limiting it to small projects or um, expedited review criteria projects or something to throw it out there for discussion. And once again, Sarah doesn't anticipate anyone, doesn't know in advance of anyone coming in other than Lathrop, is it? Lathrop will probably come back with a small grant. On invasive stuff, but and I think the library's going to come back with theirs. You think yes, they yes. will? I've already heard from them, mm -hmm. and I, I, I encourage them to come back, so I hope, hopefully they will. So that might be a couple. What about the goats? Uh, goats, probably not. Nice round for the fun industry. So do we want to just wait and see how things come in? Uh, rather than, I mean, Sarah said we could arbitrarily and capriciously, I suppose, limited. So I do have a I, sort of a philosophical question that we don't have to answer now, but um, that, that, that sort of line of logic leads me to a situation where we say, you know, 
we're not going to have enough money to fully fund this project, so we don't want to necessarily hear it. And I'm not sure that that's where we want to end up. Um, because there have been projects where we couldn't fully fund them, but we did do something for them. Um, so I think we should, I'm just leery of shutting the door on people who might, who might want to have an opportunity to present, even, even if they know in advance that they're only going to get a part of what they want to do. Other comments? So I would be in favor of doing as we've done taking in projects in the same way we've taken in all projects, knowing all obviously that we don't have a whole lot of funding. But since we're in we're in a funding, kind of in a funding cycle, like this is the package of money we have. We've spent 75% of it in our first round right now. We've got 25% left. And at the end of that next cycle, we have a conversation about whether we might want to actually alter the way we do do it in this city, which is to have one cycle for large grants and small grants, and one cycle for small grants, and put it out there well in advance, mm -hmm. so that all people would know about it, as opposed to maybe mm -hmm. right now the library is thinking, well, they're just going to do it the way they've always done it, because we never give anybody any notice. But it, it, you know, if, we, if we're going to make the change, let's make the change with lots of public advance notice. Not, hey, at the next cycle, we're changing things. Surprise. I, I feel like that's more fair to anybody who's in the, in the works over the next year, thinking, oh, there's going to be a CPC round. They always do it this way. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll be ready by then. So, so have, that, have this discussion. At the end of the next round. At the end of the next round. Yeah. So can we remember that? Sure. So I mean, that's just that. my. Okay. That's a great suggestion. Eh? Mm -hmm. People feel well, comfortable with that. We are. And maybe this this is the vehicle for that. Maybe it's not. But we are sort of talking about doing uh, our handbook review. Yes. Oh, yeah. And at this point, it was really going to be just Sarah saying, these are the things that need to be updated. And, and us, rather than us taking up any, any of the chunks and working on them. So that might be the vehicle for that as well. Can we update at any time, or do we have sure. to? So if we did the, some of the stuff that you were going to be working on in our session, and if we come back at the end and update some more, some of that. Sure, and I can send out the, I'll send the whole thing, but I can also send just the administrative section if people want to look at that and think about maybe different ways to do things. Sounds cool. And Sarah, there are some towns and cities that do only a single cycle, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Okay. Do they tend to be smaller or larger or just sort of a mix? It's, it's a mix. Um, I mean, some communities take applications on a rolling basis mm -hmm. just forever because they have such a limited amount of funding available and a limited pool of applicants. And everybody's different, has different needs, has different things, things that work for them. Also, a lot of communities, uh, you know, uh, uh, operate by town meeting, and they just the town meeting has to approve the, uh, the, um, mm -hmm. approve the um, grant, so that doesn't happen. Right. Oh, so and they only do that. They only do the once. Yeah. 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 yeah, a lot of them are before. Like right, so it would be just a one cycle. Yeah. Uh, one one thing I just um, this is kind of apropos to the Forbes Library. I think it is, you know, we don't have a lot of money in the spring, but I wouldn't w discourage people from coming in because I think it is really useful, even if an applicant isn't funded in the spring, to go through a review and get feedback from us. Um, and there isn't that much of a time gap between when they may have to reapply. It comes mm -hmm. pretty quickly, and I was getting a review really helps. It makes more work for us, but um, I think it makes for better applications and it's helpful. So I just wouldn't discourage. Yeah. So I think the sense is that it's business as usual in the spring. Okay. And we'll see what we get, knowing that our, our um, that we're very limited in the amount of money that we have. Who knows, maybe the state will kick in some more, but I can't imagine it's going to be that much. No way to know. No way to I'm surprised that more groups don't uh, apply for small grants. I'm 
I don't know how we can advertise that small grant piece more widely, but it seems to me three thousand dollars. There are plenty of organizations that could use that on a regular <laughs> regular basis, not just the Lathrop or some group like that, but other organizations in the city. I don't know how to encourage more applications for that three thousand dollar small grant. So maybe if we do have ideas, we can be passing them on to Sarah. Uh, how do we get word out? Is it simply up on the website? Uh, it's up on the website. I send out an email blast to the, the planning department newsletter, which is a, a limited pool of people. Um, I do always do a press release. I, the Gazette is not picked up. They don't in the they past pick it up? Uh, I know. They used to. I do think we suffer from underexposure. Um, I, at all levels, not just the three thousand level, but at all. I, there, uh, you know, I know for a fact that there are people who don't know that we exist or that or how we function or what we do. Um, and you know, uh, that's you know that probably works for us because it makes it easier for us to deal with a limited number with limited resources. But I, I we see the same groups tend to see the same groups over and over again, mm -hmm. and. Um, I'm, I'm sure that, I, I mean, the, the, the playground people, are the, that, that's the first time I've heard of anything like that before, and I'm not sure how they got to us, but you, you the rest of the applicants were people we pretty much knew. Is it, a pro, is it um, okay for us to write letters to the editor as a community preservation committee member? Is that? Sure talking about the, the benefit of the the benefit of the project and encouraging people to um, to apply but one of the things I pointed out to, to Julia at the end of the last meeting was we just gave away a million dollars and there wasn't a reporter in the room mm -hmm. yeah how does that happen and it's been like that for years right. unfortunately yeah. no, no we used to have a reporter that would come by the, the planning department on a you know weekly or at least monthly basis just yeah. to see what was going on and that, that just doesn't yeah. Yeah. Part of there was a reporter here for um, the gardens, yeah. right? When, when when we had the big the big yeah. to do, yeah. oh, that I was when the reporter showed. I remember that being in the paper. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but otherwise. Yeah. But I suspect that that was you something. Have controversy. Yeah, that I suspect that was something that they generated rather than us. Oh, I bet you're right. Because they had a listserv that you know brought brought in right. the twenty five people. Right. But, so so yeah. I still think we need to make that music video. It's a music video. Go viral on YouTube and we'll send. That's it. We'll get billions of dollars <laughs> yeah. from all over the world. If we could just get a homework out of the words open space, historic preservation, housing. That's your job, Joel. Yeah, there you go. Come back to us. Mm. I'll be back program. with your wrap. Jack, you were going to say something? No. Uh, so let's look back at the meeting dates for the process itself, um, which is pretty much as it's always been. Yes, and then as usual, I didn't schedule a meeting for February vacation week because cool. that, that hasn't oh, seemed yeah. to work well. For so the first meeting is not until February. Correct. Okay. At least as I have it on the draft schedule, we can tweak this as, oh, as much as we can. This is just based on prior years. How does this sit with people? Looks good. Yeah, and yes. who knows, we may expedite this uh, as, the, as the proposals come in. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion on this? Are we good to move on? Okay, the only other business not foreseen was this sort of updating our, uh, what, what, what do we call it? Our, Plan, master plan. Uh, community preservation plan. Community preservation plan. Uh, so I, I'm happy to work with you, Sarah. Sit down once you okay. go through some. Yeah, I just stuff. now that um, we're done with the grants, I'll have more time to sit down and do that. Great. And uh, maybe we could spend a part of one of next meeting, next cycle's meeting, going through that. Does that make sense? Any other business not foreseen when the agenda was published? 
I just want to make one comment, Brian, about that. that so I haven't looked at that plan in a couple of years, I guess. I looked at it when I first came on this committee. And the historic preservation piece of it is very weak. Um, and so that's something that I don't know whether um, a discussion needs to happen internally with the Historical Commission, but I think it, it needs to be addressed. Is that something you could bring to the Historic Commission? Yeah. Okay. And be looking at that? Yes. That would be great. That's the only section that doesn't rely on the input of an external plan to develop priority. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Hmm. And it really, it's, it's needed. Well, that would be wonderful if you could take the lead on that or get someone from the historic commission. We kind of had this we had kind of had this discussion a, a year yeah, and a half ago, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it just hasn't moved on. It's uh, it, it's kind of tied up in the update of the sustainable Northampton mm. plan, which um, keeps getting moved. So it's um, yeah, it's a little stall, but it still needs to happen. Great, so um, moving that forward would be really helpful. Any other business? Is there a motion of turn? So moved. Second. All in favor? All right.